uh, right? But I'll kick it over to Jennifer to talk about Narrative Foods, what they've got going on and uh, what they're doing right now to serve the SoCal landscape. Hi, thank you. So Narrative Food is a woman-owned farm-to-table home delivery service delivering curated boxes of local nutritious food to a thousand zip codes across Southern California. Our customers primarily receive recurring weekly orders and customize their food boxes to meet their individual needs. Founded in 2010, we've been a certified B Corp since 2013, and we are founding signatories of We The Change, Hi, Kristen. a group of empowered women B Corp CEOs committed to creating a radically inclusive and richly regenerative global economy. Our narrative tells the story of the deep connection between soil health, the health of our community, and our individual health. We tell stories of where food is from, its contribution to a regenerative food system, and we share the often unheard voices of diverse food creatives from the melting pot of cultures living together in LA with products and recipes which build excitement about each upcoming box in a unique creative way. Slide, please. That. Um, our products include organic produce selections and curated recipe boxes with ingredients from all the food groups. Our customers can also build their own boxes from our marketplace. This past fall, we launched a WeFunder crowdfunding campaign, selling equity in our company with the goal of investing in marketing and doubling our revenues over the course of a year. But since our campaign launched, everything has changed. Uh, slide, please. So yeah, COVID happened. And seemingly overnight, we quadrupled our revenues with no investment whatsoever. In the course of three weeks, the New York Times wrote about us, radio stations were calling us, and our customer base quintupled. We had to stop taking any new customers and create a waiting list, which is now over 400 people strong. Not only did the number of, in of deliveries increase dramatically, but the average order went up from about $100 per delivery to closer to $150 per delivery, and our weekly sales leapt from an average of $8,000 a week to $35,000 to $45,000 a week. Slide, please. With giants like Amazon Fresh floundering and supermarket shelves going bare, we regrouped to meet this challenge. We partnered with local farms hard hit by restaurant and farmers market closures to produce our fruit and veg selections. We focused on small vendors on whom we could make a big impact, and we quickly hired new packers, a new delivery team, a woman-owned B Corp customer service team, and an advisor with deep production experience with companies like Good Eggs and Marley Spoon to help us scale. In this four-week whirlwind, we have leapfrogged to needing money not for marketing, but for infrastructure. We need to move to a larger space where we can grow and keep our, key, our team safe, hire more people, support more growers, and deliver to more homes and offices when they open up again. Customers, from health workers to Oscar-winning celebrities, have been desperate to get nourishing, safe food to their doorsteps and support their community. And in doing so, they've discovered the joy of slowing down, cooking, and sharing food around the table with their households. This fundamental realization has truly been one of the upsides of this horrible quarantine. What about after COVID-19? Will people all go back to Whole Foods? I don't think so. We have at least a year to 18 months before there's even a vaccine. And until then, we will continue to grow as people seek a safe, nourishing, and authentic food solution, which supports the lo local community. While new competitors will undoubtedly appear, Narrative Food has been at this for 10 years. We have relationships, methods, and systems, which do give us a competitive edge. Next slide, please. So our WeFunder campaign expires in six days. At our site on WeFunder, you can explore our financials, an emotional video update, press coverage, and more about the content we create and the amazing women we support. You can invest for as little as $100, but right now our goal is to increase our raise to our maximum ask of $200,000. The share value is based on the valuation we had for the company last fall. So with a huge increase in revenues, it really is attractively priced. This is the time we need your help now please become a shareholder via our WeFunder campaign. And if WeFunder isn't a fit, please continue, consider reaching out to discuss other options once the campaign ends next week. Thank you so much. 
Amazing. Thank you so much, Jennifer. And just absolutely incredible. I hope that you, like all of our other entrepreneurs, are really taking the time for self-care um, because you're really, yeah, exactly. So everyone help, help them out with some of what they're dealing with here. Because again, th these people on the front lines, rebuilding our social fabric through our food communities. Um, I know we do need to make up a little time, but I would love to just quickly pop over to Kristen, um, have you ask us a question and then we're gonna kick on to the next one from there. Thank you so much. And thank you for this amazing work. I'm literally feeding our families right now. Um, can you say a little bit more about plans for scale? Well, we have all of these customers that have just found out about us through word of mouth, neighbors talking to each other, New York Times articles, all of this, you know, this chatter, the social media. So, you know, if we could move to a larger space, right now we're very confined. We have to keep people safe. We have to be able to have a distance. So we can't really throw more people at it. And, you know, the hours we have in which to work there, the size of the space doesn't really allow us to scale much more than we're at. So that's why we really urgently want to move. We've already identified a couple of places, um, but, you know, we're, it's difficult to even visit them right now. So, you know, that's really going to help us. And once we can take on all of those customers and if we can raise this money to help us fund this growth, you know, I think we're in a really strong position. Um, that marketing money that we'd like to have right now is less of a priority because we have more customers than we can handle. But once we get solidified, um, hopefully just the, the company itself is going to be able to carry some of that. Great, great. May it be so. Amazing. Thank you so much, Jennifer, yeah. your amazing work. Please, everyone, um, support her.